Cape Hatteras Lighthouse was a precious thing for the, for the Outer Banks at Cape Hatteras, and they, nobody wanted to move the lighthouse. cost $12 million to move the lighthouse and the lighthouse keepers, two big houses that belonged to the lighthouse. So they found an expert that said that the erosion wasn't that bad. They found an expert to say that the a brick structure couldn't be moved and so forth. But we formed the Move the Lighthouse Committee. It was just, just absolute luck. We went to a meeting of movers, professional building movers. They said it, it's easy to move the lighthouse because first of all, there's no roads to go across, there's no buildings, no bridges, uh, just, just the sand. And secondly, the, the design of the lighthouse was well understood. It was a sturdy subject and it was low center of gravity. We got this information to the, to the, light, to the park service and they called in the National Academy of Sciences and the National Academy of Engineering in a very unusual joint panel. And they said, the lighthouse has to be moved to be saved. The lighthouse can be moved, there's no problem. What's even more satisfying is now the local people who are so much opposed to the move are very much in favor of it. Uh, it's bringing them more business than ever, but they just, they like the lighthouse back at the distance that it was. So it's very exciting to, to, to have the 20th anniversary come by this, of this lighthouse. And of course, if you can move a multi-ton lighthouse, you can certainly move a beach cottage.